What's up, everybody? Welcome back for more Grandia 2. Alright, so it's time to take on the boss, which is going to be Valmar Kor. And, um, he's actually not that hard. He's, um, a very quick boss to beat, surprisingly. Because out of all the other bosses I've fought, you know, they take forever. And plus, I gotta cut it out and everything, so. This thing's hideous looking, so. It looks more like a heart than it does a core, so. Alright, so the way to beat this boss, just go right after the the core, the actual the center. Don't worry about the other two, uh, those other two guys. Just ignore them. But sometimes I can, uh, you know, go ahead and do all, but, you know. Because uh, once he does that, he lets his other two guys attack like that, so. But those two, those two, uh, claws only attack close range. The other one's, like, he can do whatever he wants, so. I'm not going to cut any of this out, I just want to show it off because this guy's not that hard. Okay, this is a little annoying. Okay, it didn't affect anybody. That will actually block your magic, so. Here goes. I already did practice all of this, and he actually wasn't that hard. I mean, surprisingly. As long as you don't get near those other two uh, claws, you'll be fine. Sworn enemies. But I haven't seen Take the core that. do anything to me, like damage-wise. So. You shall be defeated. That's some nice damage right there. That that attack's getting stronger every time I level it up. It's crazy. I think the highest level for that attack is obviously level five. If you, you could probably do like five thousand HP, like or uh, five da you know five thousand damage. That's what I meant to say. But um. It's ridiculously powerful. This right here, too, is like one of the most powerful moves in the game. I haven't used it in a while. 2000? Not bad. Let's use your all, you know, your all-time, like, powerful attack. Alright. Let's use Tornado. Luckily, those... Oh crap! Don't cancel my attack. Luckily, those claw guys don't have special abilities, which they don't. They have just physical attacks. So the one in the center is the one that's the threat, obviously. So and that's not gonna really do much. Did drop my attack a little bit though, but Sky, take he hasn't really done anything like severe. Like damage wise or anything. Flying the only damage I've been taking was those two claw guys. That's it. There's a way you can beat this fight without getting touched as long as you don't get near the claw guys. So. I mean. We should be almost done fighting this guy because he's literally almost dead. He didn't have a whole lot of HP. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal. Beast King Smash! Yeah, he's going down really fast. You guys okay? I sure love that um, healing ability. It's so awesome. Yep, I missed. She actually dodged it. <laughs> Keep dish dishing out special abilities, and you'll be able to get this guy taken care of. Tensei can slash. Should be almost up. Yeah, he's almost dead for sure. Yep, and that call missed. Yeah, the only reason he doesn't suck in is it's for um, the call guys to attack close range. So. Oh, like two, two of my characters dodged. <laughs> Beast King Smash! All right, this is the move I haven't used once. Mm, fresh ground it's the move we've seen before. One of the other Thalmar parts actually did against me. It's a gruesome attack, though. It's 
by blowing up a heart. Alright. Alright, he should be pretty much dead at this point. It's rare for me to show all this because, you know, usually these kind of fights take forever. But this fight's going really fast so far. We're only like five minutes through the... I guess five minutes, I don't know. Alright, he should be gone now. Goodbye. Yep, he's dead. So is the other two parts. So all you have to take care of is the middle, because obviously the other two would die automatically, so... So that fight wasn't that bad. It's just the only threat was the the claws, you know. They do significantly, you know, pretty good pretty, pretty good damage. But the, the center didn't really do any attacks at all, so he just kind of did, like, you know, suck this shoot. in or try to block her magic. And that's pretty much all it did. So we're very lucky we got it, got out there, you know, safely. So. All right. So we're done here. So that means the body will corrupt. Now we gotta. Since we got the, the um, divining sword, we need to take it somewhere. But how are we gonna hold a giant sword? Like this? Another piece of Valmar absorbed. I wonder how, mi how many pe pieces are left. She wants to be separated from uh, Elena, so she wants to be by herself. And she changes back. Which could be a possibility. I mean, might as well be separated so she wants to change all the time. Be in the shadows forever until she changes back, so. Yep, so we got this giant sword, and what are we going to do with it? Thousand men couldn't even carry it. Man, what is it, Tio? You can control it. How is that? Whoa! Oh, so we got teleported inside. Now we're gonna see what's inside the divining sword. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, look at this. It's a control room. Who would have thought the divining sword would be something like this? Look at this. So it's a flying ship. Look at that. Who would have thought there would be a flying ship? That's pretty cool. A flying sword. Well, I guess that's why they call it the divining sword for a reason. It can fly. That's something that uh, Zara never explained. It was a flying ship. So.
Alright, so now it's time to actually meet, or actually go back and tell Lord, you know, Lord Zera that, you know, we got the Divining Swords, so now we're gonna do. <laughs> I don't know why I was calling Lord or Holiness. It's kind of like it's just Zera, so I'll just call him just Zera. We haven't really seen him in a while. You know, we did see Celine in the last part, or the befo part before that, or whatever. Yeah, she was crazy bringing the body to life. It was like insane. I have a feeling. I mean, you know, from the start of seeing Celine, I think she's um, obviously a villain because you know she just she just seemed too cruel than she was nice so you know she was trying to pretend to be nice it's pretty cool that this divining sword is actually a ship first time I played this game I had no idea <laughs> But yeah, once I'm done with this cutscene, I'm gonna stop the video. But, you know. Yeah, and of course, Ryudo is still cursed with the horns of Elmar. Which I almost completely forgot. <laughs> ah, there's uh, Millennia again. I'm starting to get her name correctly now. I was declaring uh, Milena this whole time. These two don't really ever get along. As long as that they're separated, then they can uh, part their own ways. But yeah, the more you hate them, you really can't separate because you, you two are stuck together. She'll be back. She'll be back. It's not like, oh, never say never, you know. <laughs> I know in games like these, you may think, oh, we're never going to see him again. Then they come back at the very end, so. going on? Whoa, it's getting darker. What's happening? Oh, that's right, the day to darkness. Oh, crap. Valmore is trying to be revived. What a worse timing for that to happen. All of a sudden, everything looks good. You have the Divining Sword, and then all of a sudden, Valmore tries to revive himself. Because I did explain a lot about the day to darkness thing, and I almost completely forgot about it. Yep, the moon of Valmar, then an eclipse. Yep, doomsday has arrived. to Zara about this, like, what the hell's going on here? I think Zara's probably the only one to try to save everyone, because, you know, we haven't really, like, heard from him in a while, so there's something really going on here. Something's not right.
knights. Whoa. What the hell? So even the Day of Darkness is affecting people now. That's kind of messed up. Yeah, the chaos has arrived. Alright guys, so next, next time in the video, well, holy crap, chaos has happened.